are now seeing and that you just heard is the Love Pedal Custom Effects Vibronaut Photocell Vibe. Um, I'm a huge proponent of Univibes. I love them very much. And the one that's currently on my board is made similar, similarly to this one. And this will be going on there instead of that. Um, when I got this from Sean and plugged it in, I was blown away. We're currently going th through a deluxe reverb reissue, 65 reissue, with a Gibson Les Paul gold top. We have a Lindy Fralin Pure PAF in the bridge and a Mojo Tone Low Wine 59 clone in the neck. Um, the middle is wired out of phase and you'll be hearing that um, in parts of the video. So, first of all, so on the vibe we have the controls go level, low, lows, highs, speed, and depth. And this is how I had it set for the end of the beat part at the beginning. Um, and the other pedal you heard for drive I'll be using is this. It's another love pedal. It's a vintage modern, my current go-to drive. It knocked actually my old purple plexi, my plexi and boost off my board. And this will be going on there. This is also a brilliant pedal which will be coming in a demo very soon. However, right now we're focusing on this. So, now, we'll go with this on and go slow. Turn the speed down, keep the depth cranked, and we'll go through it. So, with that setting, it reminds me an awful lot of this. We're going to go between both pickups, out of phase. Make sure everything's up. Bring the, bring the lows up. Go neck pickup now. So it's that crazy, soupy, thick, dense, but so clear, which is something that lacks from some Univibes. And I have a fairly big, old school built Univibe. And this, the clarity in this, is beyond what I've been using. So now I'll be using this. So we'll go for something a little bit medium speed. And we'll keep things where they are. We'll turn the depth down just so you can hear. So with the depth cranked, you get this. Down a little bit. That throb, that heavy throb, I, which I love, goes away a bit. So. Thank you. 
So it's really great for that kind of rhythm stuff. Which, if you listen to those records, it, it's unbelievable. This sounds like that, and in the room, I wish everyone could hear what that sounds like. Now, the deluxe reverb is not crazy loud. I have a green back in there, a 25 watt green back. So the voicing of it is a little less 65 fendery. Deals with drive a little bit better to my ears. It's on about three. Trebles on a little over four, bass is on a little under three, and the reverb is on two, and the speed and the intensity of the tremolo are off. I'll plug into the number one channel on the vibrato side, as you can hear in this reverb. Again, that's clean now, but for my favorite setting on a Univibe, take a, start to take a solo, starting to get really fast, choppy thing, keep everything where it is, the depth heavy maybe a little bit back just so it's a little clearer for your for lead breaks actually forget that we're gonna turn it up So, something that's also great about this, which hopefully you could hear then, is when it's not on, I'm playing with the drive. That's my neck pickup. You get that. You get that brightness. That attack that I 
always try to get out of my guitar. When you put this on, my other Univibe doesn't do this. I'm going to be granted, most of them don't. When you put this on, because of the EQ, it actually gets a little bit glassier, and you can tame that to be normal. But it's still not too bright for the bridge. So, other than that, I'll show you what it's like slow, or not slow, clean with this fast. And we'll turn this down to about halfway, be a little bit more subtle. It's still an effect that's so usable. I mean, so it's still brilliant with the depth turned down. It's still a sound that's different than clearly than different than the one you have. We we'll go a little bit again now. So, that'll about do it. Thank you very much for watching, and if you liked the drive sounds you heard in this, it has been the Love Pedal Vintage Modern, which will be coming very soon, and thank you so much for watching the demo of the Vibronaut. Photocell Vibe. It is truly, truly, truly staggering. I, I can't say enough. And maybe in the future I'll do a... It looks like this up close, so everyone knows. It looks like this. It's hard with the light on. Turn it off. Maybe in the future I'll do a I'll do a comparison of this and my other Univibe. Now the other one I have is, you know, all joking aside, about this big. I don't know if it'll both fit in the camera, and if they do, you definitely won't see me. But maybe that might be a good thing. So, I will see you all in the next demo. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.